introduction, and thank you all for having me here today. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my niece. She's eight years old, and she has campaigned with me since she was two. She's come with me to all sorts of events, and last summer, when I stood up at my party's convention, she watched as a ballroom full of men and women tossed insults and booed me because instead of pledging to support my party's nominee, I said I thought his remarks were racist and sexist and they had no place in the Republican Party. Thank you. Now to that room full of people, I was a traitor or a fake or one of the many derogatory words that I was called on social media afterwards. But to my niece, I had told the truth. Yes. Because little kids know right and wrong. Yes. We teach them that they're supposed to be nice and kind to everyone even when they're different. So she didn't understand why people would be so mean to me when I stood up on stage and said that Donald Trump shouldn't say the things that he says. We had to explain to her later that sometimes people are angry and they don't know how to express it, so they treat other people badly. We explained that sometimes people are bullies, but that you should insist that they treat people with respect. We told her that you always stand up to bullies, no matter who they are. And then, she watched a bully win the presidency of the United yeah, States of America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, today, it's not about who you voted for. People cast their votes for a lot of different reasons. But no matter who your choice was, the fact remains. A man won the White House with anger and, our, and hate, and our kids watched it happen. Now it's our job to let them watch us fight back. So I'm going to ask you today to get involved. Testify at the legislature, run for office, help on a campaign, but do it with kindness. Show our kids that everyone's voice matters, even when they believe the opposite thing that you do. Teach them that everyone deserves respect, and let them know that in the end, love will always win. Thank you.